Hi, welcome to Devlog 1 for my new short film. My name is Niall and I make cinematics within the Unreal 5 engine. This Devlog is going to be a behind the scenes documentary for my latest passion project, The Nexus Agenda. This is a story in a dystopian world where the balance between humanity and machine is at a tipping point. An upcoming detective is investigating a series of mysterious deaths linked to a small farm town outside of the metropolis. As the pressure mounts, he discovers a dark secret behind the Nexus agenda. With this series, I'm going to show you the process of making cinematics within the Unreal 5 engine. I would also like to share my filmmaking tips and tricks that I have learned throughout my degree and various other projects. In this introduction episode, I'm going to cover multiple topics such as film design, roadmap, research and design, visual design, and lastly development. Good film design involves the thoughtful and deliberate creation of a visual world and aesthetic world that supports the story and enhances the audience's emotional and intellectual engagement with the film. It encompasses a range of elements including set design, costume design, lighting, color, cinematography, sound, and visual effects. Effective film design starts with a deep understanding of the story being told and the themes and emotions that it explores. Set design plays a crucial role in creating the world of film, and the designer must consider both the practical and aesthetic aspects of each set. The design itself must be both visually appealing and functional, serving the needs of the story and the characters. Every single set design within our short film will be digitally made within the Unreal 5 engine. Costume design is another important element of the film design, as it helps convey the character's traits, social status, and historical or cultural context. Lighting, color, and cinematography are all essential components of film design. The designer must consider the mood and atmosphere of each scene and use these elements to create a visual language that supports the story. Sound design is also critical as it helps to create the overall mood and atmosphere of the film. Sound effects and music can be used to emphasize emotions, create tension, or convey emotion that is not explicitly stated in the dialogue. Finally, visual effects can be used to create a world that is beyond the limits of reality, adding a fantastical or otherworldly element to your film. Every single aspect mentioned must be carefully interwoven together to create a final piece that delivers a strong and impactful story, all of which I hope to dive into deeper within this series. For this project, I aim to divide the pipeline into three main sections. Section 1 will be focused on pre-production, where I will plan and brainstorm ideas for the second stage. I will also be spending time on research and design, mainly focused on learning new technologies and skills. More on this later though. Section 2 will be all about production, where most of my time will be spent. This will involve implementing new tools and ideas into the Unreal 5 engine, where I finally will render out a series of plates that will be used in the final section. Section 3 will be post-production. A lot of time and creative effort will be spent here, where I will be focusing on color grading, compositing special effects, composing music, and sound effects. This process is just as vitally important as Section 2, where a lot of back and forth may occur. Research and design will be focused on learning new technologies and workflows that will aid me in completing this film. I aim to split this film into two parts, technology and systems. Technology will focus on learning new plugins for the Unreal 5 engine and how I can best utilize them to envision my ideas. I also will be aiming to improve my skills within Blender, making specialized scenes when needed. That way, if Unreal is unable to meet my needs, Blender will be there as a backup. MetaHuman will also be deeply explored. Systems will involve workflows and tools that aid me in working faster. Notion will be heavily used, and any templates that I find to improve my workflow will be shared. What I am about to share is very early testing and is nowhere close to the level of fidelity for rendering, but these features should provide an understanding of how I plan to build my environments and so forth.
The visual style will be top priority where we will try to gain a cinematic and high quality end product. This project will be a test of my skills as both a storyteller and as an artist within the Unreal 5 engine. The bar that I am setting for myself is to achieve the production quality of the renowned TV series Love, Death and Robots. The visual style is the most time consuming aspect within both video game and film production. Attention has to be paid to materials, lighting, set design, makeup. When aiming to complete something on this within a digital domain, even more aspects have to be carefully managed such as rigging, animation, concept art, skyboxes, UV unwrapping, and so much more. Thankfully, the Unreal 5 engine covers most of these points. However, a lot will need to be managed throughout the pipeline. Some goals, rules, and tools can help make the experience a little smoother. For my goals, I am aiming to create a gritty, atmospheric world that is photorealistic within the Unreal 5 engine to match the visual quality of the Mandalorian and Love, Death, and Robots, and to build a world that is believable where storytelling will be a key factor. For my rules, there will be a strong use of shadows and key lights. There will be a strong use of atmospherics and each scene will be split into separate render plates to save some GPU power. Cameras are such an important part when it comes to dictating the feel of your film. By default, Unreal is a digital medium and not analog, which most of your favorite films will have been captured on. Therefore, we need to translate our digital camera into an analog format. Luckily, this translates perfectly because digital sensors are around the same size as a 35mm film. This means a 24mm or 36mm sensor size would be what we would put into the sensor width and height. Aspect ratios come in many shapes and sizes and will boil down to personal preferences. I always go for a widescreen presentation within my projects, either using a 2.35 to 1 ratio or a 2.39 to 1 aspect ratio. A few films that use this include Blade Runner and Ex Machina, or Ex Machina. So, by simply using a custom sensor of 35mm and 15.06, we can create a cinematic lens moving forward for our project. I will dive into this in a lot more depth in our next episodes. For my tools, I will be using the Ultra Dynamic Sky for exterior lighting, which will also be used for various weather systems. For building my environments and set designs, I will be using procedural generation and when using MetaHuman, I will be limiting face animations as much as possible. Blender will be used for any 3D modeling. Mixabo and AutoRig will be used for any non-human characters and simple animations. DaVinci Resolve will then be used for compositing and editing. And lastly, FL Studio will be used for music composition and sound effects. This was the introduction to my new ambitious project. I will have many more episodes launching in the future, which will be very focused on each stage of the pipeline, with the format being very similar. I would love some feedback from y'all on how I can improve this process and what more you would like for me to cover. To support this project, I have launched a Patreon where I will share even more behind the scenes content. The link will be below. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you soon.